Hello, I'm Grant, and I'm working with the Menace Tongue Bridge Association on the Milkweed for Monarchs campaign. Today, I'm going to show you how to raise monarch butterflies. Raising monarch butterflies is an excellent project for people of all ages, and it only takes a few weeks. First, find some milkweed where there might be monarch caterpillars. You can expect to see caterpillars showing up in April in the southern United States, May in the Midwest, and June in southern Canada. The female monarch lay their eggs on milkweed like this. The eggs take some time to hatch, usually five to seven days. Once hatched, the tiny caterpillars will eat voraciously and will rapidly increase in size. As they get larger, they become much easier to spot and capture. Once captured, you must find a place to keep them while you watch them grow. I find washed out tennis cans covered in thin cardboard with air holes to work pretty well. When they're small, the caterpillars won't eat much, but it only takes two weeks to go from hatchling to full size, like this one. It has completed four molts and is a fifth instar caterpillar. It will eat a large milkweed leaf almost every day. Make sure you have a ready source of milkweed to keep them well fed. Also, make sure to keep the container dry to prevent the spread of disease. Once the fifth instar caterpillar is finished eating, it will climb up to the top of the container and attach itself to the cardboard using silk webbing. It will hang upside down for a day or so before molting a fifth time to become a chrysalis. This last molting is always the coolest to watch. I sped up the video here by a factor of 10. The normal speed version takes about five minutes. Almost immediately you will be able to see the outlines of the wings on the chrysalis, but it will take more than a week before it finishes its transformation. The night before they hatch, the chrysalis will turn black and orange. Monarchs will almost always hatch in the morning, usually between 8 and 12 o'clock. After hatching, the monarch will spend time hydraulically pumping up their wings, and then drying them. The pumping process is quite quick, it only takes about 10 minutes for the wings to reach their full size. Eventually, the monarch will begin flapping their wings to complete the drying process. At this point, it's pretty easy to get them to crawl onto your finger so you can take them outside. I usually leave them on a flower, but anywhere outside where they can get a grip is good. Several hours after hatching, the monarch will fly away. If you've raised it early in the year, the monarch will live only for a few weeks, mating and beginning another generation. However, if it hatches later than early August, it will be a migratory monarch and will live for more than six months. It will make the long journey to the Mexican mountain forest where its ancestors spent the previous winter. For more information on monarchs and milkweed, check out some of the links in the description.